a little water, and a whole lot of attitude. And you've got a team sensation that needs no introduction. The Backstreet Boys have it going on all right. With over 20 million records sold worldwide and loads of sex appeal, they're the boys every prepubescent girl wants to spoon with. Not so fast, girls. Here's the stuff your dreamboats don't want you to see. Let's start with Nick, the adorable one. This kid's been polishing his act since he was in diapers, which wasn't so long ago. Nick may be the baby of the group, but that doesn't mean he lacks experience. Before he hung with the Backstreet Boys, he was hanging with the Backstreet Girls. Here he is pounding the pavement in Disney World in Orlando back in 1992 with his early group, Nick and the Angels. Check out those moves. Pretty fancy. These guys were ready for some serious competition, like the illustrious American Dance Championships. Nick and the Angels. Yup, Nick's dressed to the nines here and ready to rock. Watch out, back handspring coming through. The women were already flipping over this kid. Now let's meet Brian, the romantic one. This Backstreet Boys had plenty of practice serenading the ladies. Here's Brian serenading a pink lady in his high school production of Grease back in 1992. Brian could sure make him swoon, but he was just an ordinary looking kid back then. Of course, when he hit the stage, it was electric. That's him in the middle with the rest of the T-Birds. This number always gets the auditorium going, but Brian got a little carried away. Hope the school had insurance. But as we all know, great artistry is about taking risks, like mouthing off to the local hoodlums. Hey girls, ever wonder if Brian prefers boxers or briefs? Wonder no more. Hi there, my name is Howard Duro, and I'm reporting for The Edge. Meet Howie, the nice one. This guy keeps the group in step with his fancy footwork. But back at Edgewater High in Orlando, Florida, he was keeping his fellow classmates on their toes. Excuse me, you're skipping. Now what's your name? Huh? Yep, Howard signed out the AV equipment a lot. He even started his own show, Macho and Camacho. Hola, hello. My name is Macho. And I'm Camacho. And we do the three-minute, three-minute video out. Howie was real versatile. He could play just about any role. Schwarzenegger. More Schwarzenegger. Yup, it's another top-notch performance from the Edgewater High School Choral Department in TV production class, time and time again. I should be shot. Ah, no, don't, oh, don't be so hard on yourself, Howie. We blame the director. Howie just needed better material, like the classic musical Showboat. Yup, Howie could act, he could sing, and was one good-looking fella. How'd Menudo miss this kid? Now it's time for AJ, the fashion plate of the bunch. This Backstreet Boy's as cool as they come, but there was a time when he was too cool for his own good. Okay, Elaine. Yup, AJ was a real wiseacre on the short-lived sitcom. Hi, honey, I'm home. And you are not invited to dinner. Oh, hurt me like I live for fish stick. <laughs> he was a real terror with his long hair and dance or die t-shirt. Let's go back to the more innocent days. The boy then known as Alex got some press for this local production of Snow White back in 1985. He played Dopey. AJ looks like a dwarf here, too, playing the fiddler in Fiddler on the Roof. He's the tiny guy on the right. Don't try this one at home, kids. And finally, there's Kevin, the serious one. He's older and wiser. All those screaming fans, he's been there, done that. There you are, Sidious One! We've been looking for you everywhere! This kid was a teen idol way back in high school, at least in the musical Bye Bye Birdie. But this budding stud didn't always have his mojo working. Say, say, I really know the score. I even know some of the words. Canadian, Primal, 
Dale bite? <laughs> Whoa, she said the magic word. Better back off. Kevin did get to do his share of scoring as captain of the football team. Nice form, kid. But football was just part of his hectic after-school schedule. Here he is shaking his groove thing at play rehearsal. Guess number 32 forgot to take his jersey off. Kevin also broke out his electric blue cummerbund for the school chorus. This wasn't the only place Kevin showcased his vocal stylings. Somehow he found time to play drums and sing back up at this talent show. Ringo he wasn't, but when it came time for school awards, Kevin cleaned up. He was voted most popular, best dressed, best dancer, best looking, he even got best look, whatever that is. Kevin had it all. Then came the special night that topped it off. Truly a magical moment.